Hey guys, welcome to Alliance War number 10. I am uh, sitting here recording some videos while I'm waiting for the uh, Aegon Arena results to come in. It is, it is, uh, I'm, I, I don't know guys, I'm really nervous. So hopefully, by the time you see this, you'll probably know if I got them already. So wish me luck, but uh, it already happened. Um, moving on to this war, uh, we start off on actually a node that I don't have uh, a, a graphic for, and I will probably have to get that to set up. Uh, sometime in the future, maybe during the off season, but it's node number four. I have not fought this uh, node very often. I think I fought it once before, and I, had, I said I'm gonna make a graphic, and I didn't. Uh, didn't end up doing that. It's just a four star science champion. I thought for sure it was gonna be uh, Electro, but it turned out to be Wasp. Uh, so it, it's all good. Phoenix was a throwaway champion. I had Emma Frost as my main attacker this war, and I have suicides on, as you can tell, because I was excuse me, grinding for Aegon, and I didn't want to change up my masteries. I mean, of course I had to change up my masteries to place my defense, which I did, uh, but uh, but yeah, I didn't want to change my masteries up again just for the fighting, so I had to bring in a team that would be conducive to running suicide masteries. Anyway, uh, fighting this Ender Xenocide uh, guy, and I love your name, uh, in Ender, if, if you're listening to this video or watching it, um, dude, <laughs> awesome name. I, I love those books and uh, Ender's Game and that whole entire saga is like they're by far my favorite uh, favorite group of books out there. Um, so cool name, love it. Uh, and I go come up to node number thirty with Emma Frost. It's gonna be Emma on uh, from here on out. Um, and I brought Sentinel for the uh, synergy where it gives her more damage in diamond form because I knew I was going to be in diamond form a lot on the node 40, which is the villainy node where I won't gain any power. Um, so this Red Hulk uh, is just going to be dealing with me um, basically limited to special one, which means I'm not going to be launching crazy mega specials, but I do throw the special one even though I have recoil on just because, um, I don't know, no no good reason for it but if you notice um, I still have 96% so it was a little strange that uh, even though the special the recoil is supposed to do 5% damage somehow I only took 4% damage so I'm a little I think that might just be a rounding error by the uh, health bar um, oh, oh you know what it is I'm sorry uh, yeah it was the um, it was the power lock I actually gained some health by a willpower uh, so that must have been it um, so yeah, glad I caught that because otherwise the comment section would <laughs> be going nuts about trying to explain that to me. Um, anyway, Red Hulk, it's easy. Like I, I think I showed you guys last war, he's been coming, he's been sh he's been showing up a little bit more often than uh, in the past. I have a three uh, persistent charge Mystic Champion on here, so it's definitely a Mephisto. Um, I've learned my lesson in the past about trying other champions here. Uh, Emma Frost just crushes Mephisto's on this, um, and in the future, um, I believe Sentry will do just fine uh, when I can get that nice synergy going. So, um, I, I, I believe I just had the wrong graphic up. <laughs> I, I clicked on 44 when it was supposed to be 40. But uh, anyway, I can't gain any power, so I have no risk of going into... Um, telepath form, so I'm completely immune to this guy's incinerate. So it's just a slugfest. Notice, watch my, my health bar. I'm at 93% at the start of this fight. Um, just the amount of armor and block proficiency and reduction I get um, out of Emma Frost is, is absolutely insane. Look at that. He parried me, but I was stun immune. I mean, it just... Oh, man, and I the indestructible boost saved me once there from getting clipped once, but uh, at this point I'm I'm getting better at dodging his special ones. It's just it's just a slightly delayed um, uh, dexterity that you need to do. He's gaining a lot of power via these um, via these uh, aura of, his, of incinerations, so I just need to back up and make sure he can throw a special two in peace. Um, sometimes it has a little bit of a reach to it, so I do want to back up big time and uh, push him over another bar of power, he probably will end up throwing... Uh, look at that, I just took a five hit, um, five hits of block and it only reduced me by 3% or 2%. I think I was already at 92%. So I started at 93, I'm now sitting at 90%. Um, I, I'm so happy with just the amount of damage she can take, especially through the block, not through the block, just in general, she's so safe. Um, she feels like such a tank, even though she's such a small champion, which I really like. Um, yeah, I've been I've been liking him more and more. I'm starting to figure out the different play styles that you can take her through different rhythms, and uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of opportunity here. So still at 90%, and I get I get Mephisto down here, and wow, I only lost 3% over that whole fight, and that lasted. 
that lasted a while. That was a long, that was a long slugfest there. So I knew this was going to be a blade. I've, I've, I've had blade on this node, and that's why you saw me put that indestructible boost on, and that's why I also hit fight so soon because I knew that um, I had that indestructible on, and I needed to go in fast. Um, so I've got double empowered because I've got the class advantage and the female champion. Um, so I, I'm really doing a lot of damage here. I use the heavies because they don't generate a lot of power for him, and I wanted to get up to telepath form quickly so that I can launch a massive special two. And oh boy, here it comes! Oh, twenty thousand forty-eight. So that was that was sixty-eight thousand damage. I had the mutant boosts on, and it pushed me straight to three bars of power. And he was at two percent, so I just made the call. We're doing it. We're throwing it right now. And blade goes down like a ton of bricks. <laughs> I mean, that was crazy. That was a rank five blade. So uh, absolutely amazing stuff from Emma Frost. So we move to node fifty-five, which was a quake. Um, I had a Quake mini boss, and I, I haven't taken Emma in for Quake before, but I thought actually it would be pretty interesting to test out. If I do get some Aftershocks on, I can test out her Diamond form for being stun immune. Uh, I think okay, so I did uh, lose the recording reel right there and had to pick it up uh, afterwards. But yeah, we're going, we're getting into this fight here. Um, I wanted to boost up again, but I wasn't sure what exactly to do. I was really happy with how Emma performed versus Blade just there, and so I thought. Um, maybe I just need um, a little bit of boost here with some power uh, to get to uh, my first special. As long as I can get her to get to my first special too, I'm going to be fine. So I started off with um, one bar, which put me instantly at uh, telepath form. I'm just trying to get an intercept here, and I get intercepted myself, so that was not good. Um, definitely want to be careful there. I wasn't too worried about baiting heavy, even though in general with Quake, I, I do worry about that. Um, but I just wanted to get to my first special two. And luckily, I throw a nice big special two here, and with the power boost, you can see how much how good um, this this actually was. Um, un unfortunately, uh, w the way it works is I don't get um, another set of ten prowess charges because they go away after you after you throw your special. So, I. Because she started charging her heavy, I do throw this because I wanted to get to diamond form, uh, just in case the aftershock uh, does does get a stun on me. So I throw this, which will prevent her from gaining a lot of power. Um, so maybe it, it could have backfired on me. But actually, oh no no no, sorry, she's immune to that. She's immune to that because this is the immunity boss. So um, I do. I am stun immune at the moment, so I let this thing go, and yep, look at that. Did you see that? I'm immune. I mean, I think that was actually the concussion that I was immune to, but it could have been the stun as well. Who knows? Um, we won't find out because the only text that comes up is the immunity text, and now I have another special two coming, and the crit kills her with 30k damage. So pretty good, pretty happy about all that, and uh, that was my contribution to the war. Uh, no deaths, uh, but uh, we did, and we did come up with a victory, XCOM, uh, good war to you guys. Um, we are still in Platinum 2, and I believe we're high up in Platinum 2, and uh, the next war is extremely important to us, and I can tell you it's my worst war of the season, <laughs> so whatever that means, um, maybe I crack under pressure, but uh, yeah, the that's coming up soon. Uh, I can't remember who we're facing right now, but I think I think it's a Chinese alliance potentially. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I don't know how many minutes this is going on because this is the second recording, but yeah, we are almost out of the season. Uh, plenty of other uh, videos I want to record, and we're gonna just keep on chugging. Take care, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.